right, get down. Come on, you're supposed to be helping. You dare me to jump? Don't be an idiot. What do you give me if I do? Nothing, because you'll be dead, dumbass. Now get down. It's only like 10 feet. Owen, get down. Right. No, Owen, get down. You're going to get hurt. You're going to get hurt. Stop it, Owen. Right now, get down. I'm going to jump. Owen? Yeah! No! Owen! Owen? No, we no, stop! Yeah! You're an idiot. You're an idiot. Owen! Owen! Are you okay? Jesus! Do you realize what would happen if you got hurt? I'm sorry. Do Mom. you? I'm sorry. I told you to look out for him. I was. I'm sorry. Jesus. Come on, let's go. God, you guys are bored. I've got about a thousand boxes for you to unpack. Come on, let's go, okay? And then you guys can explore. Okay, Superman? You're a dumbass. Jesus. You gotta look out for him. Okay? Okay, I know. What's going on, Pip? What do you see? Come on. Come on. Get some rest. Buffer on. Um. Okay. Open or close? Open. Mom? Yeah. I'm sorry about jumping into the hay. Good night, sleep tight. Wake up bright in the morning light. Do what's right with all your might. blanket or anything. Do you know that this was uh, the room that I slept in whenever I came? Aunt Silas even let me pick out the paint color. How long? How long what? Will we be here? Uh, I guess until I figure out something else. At least you got your own room, right? Okay. Sleep long. All right, here you go. Don't forget your bags. Love you, Mom. Love you. Have fun. Hey. Hi. How are you, honey? Good. Yeah. Hey, bud. You good? Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Hey. So you're gonna pick him up after dinner, huh? Yes, thanks for covering for me. Yeah, not a problem. How's the move going? What's this? My lawyer, he wanted you to see those before our meeting. So how's the new place? New? Gosh, it's been on the market since my aunt passed. It's dated, to say the least. Still can't believe you let him keep the house after what he did. You know what? It wasn't an option. His parents bought it for us. Sweetie, you know you could have just stayed with me. I offered. I know, and thank you. 
but this is just temporary. You know, I'm gonna find a condo closer to school in the spring. Smart girl. Yeah. Jessica? Yeah. Um, Helen Osgood's lab results. She's an E3. Can you take it, please? Sure, Estelle. Good morning, Mrs. Osgood. Dr. Simmons will be in in a minute, and I'm just gonna take a blood sample. It's back, isn't it? They don't bring you in for good news. Good news is a phone call. I'm just gonna take a blood sample. It's... Look. If I've only got so much time left, I don't wanna spend another second of it wondering. It sounds so good. It's true. He is not. Yeah, Mom Sam Silas told me the story. You were just too young, so you don't remember. There was like this tribe of flying cannibals who lived out by the lake. You mean like the ones from the Wizard of Oz? No, those were monkeys. These were something else. When they flew into town, they would kidnap people. Mostly little kids. And eat them! <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> Tyler! <laughs> That's so stupid, because if it were true, you'd be the one who'd be scared, not me. <laughs> Why is Mom so worried about me getting hurt? Because she doesn't want to lose us. Lose us how? Like, die? <laughs> not die. Just forget about it, Owen, OK? We're almost there. How many fish are you going to catch? More than you, obviously. <laughs> This is it? I guess. This is Aunt Silas's lake. Where's all the water? So much for fishing. Yeah. What's that? That's what? Thing. Go back, please. Pippin! Pippin! Wait! Pippin! Pippin! No! Come back! Pippin! Pippin, get out of there! Pippin! Get him, Owen! Pippin, come on. Get him out, get him out. These don't even prove anything. And they're like, they're from three years ago. How could this possibly matter now? No, I've told you everything. Okay. I've been clean for 15 months, Jill. Well, why don't you drop them off? Please tell me this isn't going to make a difference in my case. They generally favor the mother in the yes, I know they generally rule in favor of the mother. Wait, hold on. I'm going to have to call you back. Hey! I told you not to go back there. It wasn't my fault. Pip ran in and oh I couldn't. God, I can't deal with this right now. Okay, so off with your clothes, hose down, and don't come in the house until you're clean and dry. I'll get the hose. It was your fault, Pip. It wasn't your fault. doesn't like olives in his sauce. Dad usually takes them out. All right. Okay. 
Listen, both of you. I'm not perfect. Okay, I'm not. And I know that your dad has been there for you a lot more than I have. But I'm here now. And I really want us to be a family, okay? But we have to be a team. Especially now. And I know that this house is not like our old house. But I'm excited about getting to make it a home with you. I'm not going to let you down again. Mm -mm. Not again. I love you both so much. But you love me more, right? Owen! How did you know? <laughs> Owen! Uh-huh. Owen. You heard She's it there, folks. <laughs> There's something out there. What is it? I think it's just a raccoon or something, honey. Pippin! Pippin! Owen! Pippin, no! Hey, be careful! Come back when he's ready. Why didn't you stop him? Honey, he was too fast. I'm going out there to look. Absolutely not. Mom, it's Pippin. Yeah, and you can look for Pippin after school tomorrow. It'll be too late. Owen, stop. Inside now. You don't care about Pippin because Dad got him for us. That's why. Our concern is for the children. At their age, they still need bonding time with their father. Which they have every other weekend, but during the school week, stability is the key. I agree. Patrick has been the primary caregiver, providing them with that stability for almost three years as Mrs. Stokes took care of her private oh, issues. Oh, don't go there. That's totally unnecessary. He got them ready Mrs. for school. Mrs. Stokes went he to rehab, and she's dinner. Been perfectly capable of taking care of her children. She's proven that over and over again for the last 12 months. So look, look, she would be... What is Owen's favorite bedtime story, Jess? What is Ty's favorite movie? No, Please, wait. Like, what does she like on her eggs? Give me a break. Look, I was there for this family when you couldn't take care of them, Jess, let alone yourself. And now you just want to end that for me? Patrick, please. Four days a month? Four? No. It's not enough. I deserve more. More? Yeah, more. You want more? You got the fucking house and the nanny. You oh, want more. don't bring more. her into this. Oh, bullshit. You brought her into it when you started fucking her. Really? Jessica. Yeah. No, it pa apparently after I was I was sleeping away my days on the couch, right? On the couch, yeah. on the bathroom floor, in the car, anywhere you yeah, fucking sweet. wanted you slept. Okay, you know what, that's enough. You didn't enough. do anything. You, know you didn't have to do a this damn is enough. thing. Fuck you! You didn't know, this the is fuck you. you! Yeah, yeah, that was not helpful. You can't lose your temper, not with your past. You need to prove why the kids belong with you, Jess. Thanks. I'll talk to you later.
You, uh, grab your coat, take a break, huh? We're all gonna go out and look for Pippin, okay? Mom might try to stop. idea how worried I've been about you. Hmm? What the hell are you thinking, biking all the way out here and without a helmet? Huh? Because I love him, and you don't. All you ever think about is yourself. God damn it, that is not true. Now I know why Dad left you. Get in the fucking car! You let him go. You're lucky you're not grounded. He's back! Guys, he's back! He's back! Guys! Don't go any closer. What's wrong with him? Owen, step back to me, Owen. Slowly. One unit of emergency blood. Yeah, Run it wide open. Can we get this cleaned up, please? Let's go. So we clean it up. Uh, cross the match for four units.
gonna be okay. Okay? Right? Okay? There's a great team of doctors looking after him. There's so much blood, I know. I know, honey. But that's normal for an animal bite, okay? Where is he? He's sedated right now. I'll move him to a private room later. I don't understand why you would even let him near that dog if he was acting aggressive. That dog, Patrick. It's Pippin. That's the dog you bought for them. All right, when in a million years would you think Pippin would do something like this? I mean, the dog went crazy. It wasn't I Pippin. I told you. I told you moving way the hell out there was a bad idea. Oh, don't you, you even try to blame me. You were perfectly fine where you no, were. No, we weren't. Now you got them out there in the middle of nowhere? No, you, like you gave us a chance. No, you were Jesus. out there less than a week and a half, and this happens. Were you sleeping on the fucking couch? Hey, come keep me company over here. It's on you, Jess. This is on you. Sweetheart. Hey. How are you feeling? Hungry. Oh. Yeah, much better now. You're very lucky. Really? Okay. Eat up. That was weird. All right, we'll just do the best you can. Sorry. Um, Mrs. Osgood is back. She specifically requested to see you, but I can handle it if... Um, okay, I guess I can take a little break. He's doing so much better, so... I'm so glad. <laughs> Mrs. Osgood, nice to see you again. Helen. Helen. It looks like, uh, Dr. Simmons is gonna go over your treatment plan, but in the meantime, I am going to take your vitals, if that's okay with you. How are you feeling today? Are you married? Uh, no. Was, yeah, but, uh, no. Kids? Uh, boy and a girl. I, I don't have any children. When I got the news the other day, six months to a year, I came home. I stared at the phone. Didn't have anyone to call. I've heard about some doctors, nurses, who will help people at the end, you know. They, 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 they help them instead of treatment, I mean. Mrs. Osgood, Helen, that's not exactly what we do here. But, but you could, right? I mean, no one would need to know. Helen, I know what it's like to feel hopeless. I've been there, and it's hard. What's that expression, it's always darkest before the dawn? It really is. Look, we got plenty of doctors here that can better discuss this with you. I'd be happy to arrange a consult for you. Code blue, code blue, three, five, two, zero. I'll be right back.
Jess, 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 Jess. We got him. We got him. Give me something to clean him up. 0.5 milligrams of Ativan IM, Scott. You need to clear an airway. I don't know what happened. I went to the bathroom and you just... What's wrong with him? Rolling. Who's talking? What? Get ready to intubate. Hi, folks. I'm Dr. Forsythe. So first of all, Owen is doing much better. Right? His fever is down, and we are going to keep him intubated until he's more stable. He's getting blood transfusions. Those appear to be working. We're covering all the bases. Is it an infection, Don? We just don't know yet. Dr. Avery was running the labs. Did she tell you that the rabies tests are all coming back negative? Yeah, yeah. Good. So at this point, we suspect we're dealing with some type of anemia. How can a dog bite cause that? There are rare viral and bacterial conditions. It's possible that he could have contracted one from your dog. Is he gonna die? What? No. Honey, no. 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 Of Don't worry not. about that. Well, it's gonna be fine. Don't worry. Jesus. What does that machine do? It's helping him breathe, sweetie. And then something got inside of him, the virus, maybe. His body's working really hard to fight it off. You know, he was so tiny when he was born. He gave him a month early. All I could do was imagine the worst. I'd never been more scared in my life. But he was fine. You can fix him, though. Right, Mom? Yeah. I'll pull through again. He's still unconscious. Yeah, his stats are getting worse. I don't know. You heard Avery. All the tests came back negative. Of course I am. Come by, run from How's Tyler doing? Sleeping. Shelly <sighs> doesn't say anything either, okay? Why, why would she do that, Jessica? Where are you now? Are you monitoring him? Yeah, of course. I'm monitoring him. I'll call you back. Owen? What are you... Owen! What are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? Give me that! What are you doing? What are you doing? What's going on? Um, I, I, he just woke up. He took his breathing tube out. He extubated himself? Uh, yes. His breathing seems better. Let's not reintubate. How much propofol is he getting? Um, three milligrams an hour. Guess you really want it out of this bed. Let's see how you're doing, buddy. Squeeze my hand. His vitals are looking better. This especially for you. I don't want it. Well, you gotta eat something, right? Okay, so what do you want? Anything at all? I want more. Oh. Um, 
please stop. You didn't know what you were doing. You were delirious, honey. I need it. Stop. Hey. Hey. Wow, look at you. How you feeling, bud? Good. Yeah, you look good. You gave us such a scare, all of us. Right, Mom? Mm. Oh, look, I got this for you. Thank you. Yeah, it was either that or a pink flamingo. <laughs> hey, Jess. I thought you said he was... What happened? He's rebounding. Did he eat? Yeah. Yeah? I'm so proud of you, bud. What'd you have for dinner? Cell count is way up. Final's getting back online. Our best guess is the anemia was caused by a virus and his body was able to wipe it out. That's great news. How long do you think he'll be in here? Oh, we'd like to keep him at least through to the end of the week, make sure the improvements hold. Really is an amazing recovery. He's quite the fighter. Yeah, he is. Like father, like son. <laughs> His blood pressure's dropping. BP 80 over 30. His talking respiration's over 30. Sound levels are getting low. Apply O2. It's pale and clammy. Start a saline bolus, 150 cc's. Fuse it over half an hour. What the hell happened? I don't like these stats. Hope he's not relapsing. Okay, I can take it from here. Sure, Jess. You're absolutely sure? Yes, Liz, I have training in hospice care. I can monitor him at home just as easy as we can here. And you said yourself, the dip in his vitals last night was probably the end of it. Look, he needs his own bed, right? His family, his sister, you understand? Okay, take the rest of the week off then. And let us know how we can help. Thank you. Did you strain it? Yeah. All right, you get started. Go and eat, Ty. You almost done? Hey, that's enough. Come on. Hey, 
Hey. Hey. All right, we gotta save it, okay? Gotta make it last, right? What if we run out? We won't. Okay, it's temporary, all right? It's gonna stop. What if it doesn't? It will. Do I have to go back to the hospital? No, 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 no. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna risk that, okay? What? Hey, we can't tell anybody about this, all right? Not your dad, not even Ty, okay? If anybody found out, they'd take you away. Maybe forever. Do you know what that means? All right, look at me. We know what works, don't we? Okay. I just gotta keep you healthy until I figure out how to beat this, okay? Mom. Instead, isn't he? Yeah. I looked through the blood lab results you sent us, Mrs. Stokes. Honestly, it all seems consistent with acute anemia. But is there a way to tell the cause? Sorry, not from what you sent. Eat up, buddy. I'm gonna make some eggs. Too. Okay, let me ask you, has there ever been a case that only responded to alternative means of transfusions? What's in that? Such as? Oral, for example? <laughs> I've heard of cases like that, sure, with uh, psych patients, with schizophrenics who think that drinking blood would make them live forever, or members of a demonic cult who have bizarre oh, rituals. Forget it. I just thought I'd ask. You know, Mrs. Stokes, with the kind of emotional trauma your son's been through, I, it might be good to talk to someone. So both of you, I could arrange a consult right here in Des Moines. That won't be necessary, but thank you. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I appreciate your help. Thank you, Doctor. All right. Oh my god. What are you doing? I'm sorry. <gasps> oh my god. This is barely enough for tomorrow. I'm sorry. <gasps> Uh, yeah, I did. I just, um, I just came back to get some bandages for Owen, but, you know, my card doesn't seem to be working. Do you mind swiping me in? Oh, shit. You have to go through Avery now. They think that someone's been stealing plasma, so she put in this new protocol. Pain in the ass. Let me page it for you. Uh, no. Uh, don't, don't, don't worry about that. Um, I'll just hit up Walgreens. Oh, hey, how's Owen doing? Yeah, much better. Oh, good. Hi, right, can I help you? Uh, yes. I'm I'm looking for a pet for my son. Sure. Uh, mice make good pets for kids. Do you have anything bigger? Hey. Hi. How was your day? It was okay. Is he sick of you? Uh, no. He's 
was just tired. Did you have a good day at school? It was okay. What's for dinner? Hmm? Dinner? Um, leftovers. Okay, you're so cheating. I'm not cheating. Yes, you if are. I'm cheating, I wouldn't let you win. Well, you're not. I only got one. You're so cheating. Hey, Mom, do you want to play winner with us? Uh, no, I'm I'm going to go to bed and sleep. Wash up in 30. Get the hay, okay? The school night. Mom, it's like 7. talking about Jess there's a schedule for a reason yeah the kids need some consistency and some yeah, routine it's Saturday Jess. around here Jess it's Saturday it's my day you're working today we talked about this last night Jesus Christ what did you do to your arm hey dad hey bud hey look at you wow you look great go get your sister all right let's go where are we going we're gonna go bowling Oh, come on, you'll love it. Go get your sister. Let's Can we go. go to the movies? Nope. Ty, Jess, what did you do? Jess. You're gonna get a strike this time? Yeah, Dad. I think you're going down. Okay. Okay. Put your bottles inside. Huh? You understand? Yep. Come here. Mom. Mm -hmm. It'll be okay. Come on, let's go, buddy. It's gonna be fine.
glue. Odie. 54 year old female neighbor found her unresponsive pills everywhere. Benzoids, opiates, and booze. Ma'am, can you hear me right now, ma'am? Can you get a BP, please? What does she say? to die. That's pretty clear. Did you get nap and Narcan and 30 cc's from that home? She's all secured. Thank you. How'd it go with Dad today? I almost ran out. You gotta pace yourself. Jessica, glad to see you back. How's Owen? Good. Complete recovery. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. I called you yesterday, but I didn't hear back. The labs on the dog's tissue sample came in. They didn't indicate any kind of known viral infection. It's very strange. Mm. Well, he's uh, fine now. Mm. Still, at some point, if you don't mind, I'd like to do another blood analysis. Sure. Maybe bring him in next week? Great. Moving someone? Uh, yes. You know, we have order release for that, right? Hey. Hi. Was Helen Osgood released? Um, yeah, about 10 minutes ago. Nice to see you going home. Hey, look, I'd be happy to drive you somewhere if you'd like. Oh, no, thank you. The bus is coming soon. Oh, really, it's no trouble. My car is right over there. No lectures. I just thought you'd like the company. It's always darkest before the dawn. You said that to me, didn't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this morning when I woke up, someone had left a bouquet of lovely white carnations by my bed. Probably one of you nurses. Hmm. I don't know. But for some reason, it just filled me with such immense joy. I haven't felt 
that in will. Oof, a long time. Hmm. And it made me reflect on what you said. There is a way that you can love your life. You hear that? You hear what? <laughs> There's something rattling around in the back. It must be one of the kids' soccer balls. But I'm gonna pull over. I'm sorry, I'll just be a second. Shh. Shh. Don't talk. Hey. Just listen. Hey. You deserve to know what's going on, all right? And I'm gonna do my best to tell you. Okay? Can you be quiet? My son is, he's very sick. And I don't know what's wrong with him. And I don't know how to make him better. But I know how to keep him alive. But to do that, I need your help. I'm, you don't have kids. You're not a mother. You don't understand that you would do anything. Anything to save your child. What? No. Thank you. No. No. Please. Please. No. Take over. I'm gonna do some cleaning up. Mom, Miss Nelson asked about our one today. Miss Nelson? His homeroom teacher. She wanted to know when he's coming back to school. She said she tried calling you. Oh, not quite yet. Mom, that's so fair. I have to be dying before you let me stay home. Well, I like him more. <laughs> Better in 15, okay? Wanna play? 
Pizza? You have to eat. You have to eat. I need to use the bathroom. Monster, a monster. down there. Oh, Nothing. It's just cleaning. Well, why is there a lock on the door? Uh, Owen, I don't want him going down there and getting in trouble, so. it when it's warm.
you some oatmeal. Tyler? Honey? Tyler? Whatever you think, it's... It's not what it looks like. Honey, it's for Owen. Why don't you come out and I'll explain it? No! 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 Let me go! Let me go! Is it like a disease? I don't know. All I know is it's the only thing that's making him better. Mom, he needs to be at a hospital. No. They will not give him what he needs. All right, they won't understand. This is an insane treatment, honey. But we can help him. All right, you and me, sweetie. What about that lady? You can't leave her locked up down there! I know. I know. I know. I know. Mom, that's not right! She's dying. She doesn't have any family. So we're gonna help her. And we're gonna make it peaceful for her, okay? And in the meantime, she can save your brother. Okay? Okay? Honey, she can save him. <laughs> she can save him. Baby, she can save him. Please, Ty. I don't want to die. What's it taste like? Like metal. Like sucking on a penny. You've done that? Yeah. Josh Kirby dared me to do it. That's gross. Yeah. Ty? Yeah? What's happening to me? Nothing. It's temporary, just like Mom said. I look different. Yeah, but only when you're hungry, right? I feel different. It'll be all right, Oh. We're gonna figure this out. We're gonna get better. Mom, he's here! Come on. Let's try and have some fun with Dad today, okay? Buddy, my truck, the med kit. Here, here. 
grab that before clumsy bleeds out. Yeah. <laughs> Can't take the city out of this girl, can you, Ty? I lowered the sedative for you. You feel better? I'm gonna make it really comfortable. Really do my best. I understand why you're doing this. I never could have kids. But I wished for it. To have someone to give that love to. So. I understand. Maybe, um, maybe you haven't always been the best mom. Let's get you settled in. No one can accuse you of that now. I see the love. I feel it. But you don't have to do it like this. your mom seem to lately? Good, I guess. I guess. She's been a little absent-minded lately. What do you mean? Well, she, she almost burned down the house the other night. What? That it was no big deal. She just left the pan on the burner. <laughs> Dad, I just think she's really tired with all the stress over Owen. It seems fine now. Yeah. Jessica Stokes? Uh, yes. Sorry to bother you. Your name came up in a missing persons case we're investigating. Uh, oh, my God. Just a couple of quick questions. Of course. Um, how can I help? Helen Osgood? Do you know her? I do. She's a patient at the hospital where I work. Co-worker of yours, Miss uh, Candace Reese. She said that she saw you asking questions about Miss Osgood just after she was released. She's missing. Ma'am, we have security camera footage from the hospital parking lot showing Miss Osgood getting into your car. I did. I, I gave her a ride as a favor. I, uh... Cancer. It was terminal. Um, the last time she came in, she had tried to. Um, I'm sure Candace told you. Yes. My God. Um, do you think that maybe she found somewhere more private to try a second time? Well, we've been having a tough time. She said she didn't have any. Right. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you.
drink it. It's not warm enough. I don't care, drink it. No, drink it. Changing, Ron. He's not acting normal anymore. Did your dad notice? What? No. But he's getting worse. That's not enough, Mom. He needs more. Well, then we'll get him more. Mom? What? Okay. Go upstairs, make sure she's not inside. She's not upstairs. Did you find her?
Mrs. Stokes? My name is Regina White. I'm from Child Protective Services. What is this about? It's come to our attention that your son, Owen, hasn't been to school since September 15th. I tried calling you a bunch of times and didn't get an answer. What did you do? What did I do? Are your kids home? Uh, yeah, no. Um, my daughter's at school. My son's upstairs asleep. He's sick. No, you can't come. And he, he's a, he's sick. Really? Because every time I see him, he looks fine, and you look sick. Why are you doing this? Where is Tyler? At school. No. I called this morning. She's not at school. Of course she I is. I called Dr. Avery. She said you won't return any of her calls. That You told her Owen was much better. He was. Was? He just was? Then why isn't he back in the hospital? Honey. At school, huh? Where have you been, Ty? Both gonna come with me for a few days, okay? I want you to go upstairs come and get some clothes and clean up at home, okay? Let's come go. here. Come Let's here, honey. No, 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 no talk. Go. Honey, come here. I'm gonna help her. Ma'am, I need you to stay here. No. I won't hurt you. Please. She's down here, Owen. I'm gonna talk to your dad for a second, okay? Are you okay? I'll figure it out. All right, just go with your dad. What about Owen? This is all I have. Oh, that's not enough. I'll get more. Mom, it's not helping him. He's not getting better. He's getting worse. Mrs. Stokes, it's time. Mom? Mom, you need to listen to me. There's something at the lake. What? Out at the lake. That's where I was. I saw it. There's something there. What are you talking about? There's something wrong with that tree, Mom. It got inside Pippin and it changed him. And now it's inside Owen and it's changing him too. I don't know what you're talking about, honey. Mom, we have to help him. Honey, we are helping him. We are helping him. Let's go. <laughs> Hey, listen up, guys. I know this is sudden and scary. I want you to understand why this is happening now. You know, your mom, she didn't give me a choice. And don't get me wrong, she's a great person. She, she loves you. She loves you both more than anything. But things haven't always been so easy. Now she's out there. She's Cleaned up. We'll have some lunch in a bit. Come on in here. Some of the drinks. Try to be a little bit quiet, guys. Okay? Missy's taking a nap. So, Regina, we just wanted to talk about where we go from here. Regina. Sorry yourself. She looks awful. I think she's using again. And, you know, I want to make sure we handle this the right way. I have to do what's best for them.
Where are the kids, Jess? What? I came to get the kids. They already fucking took them. They took Shelly's bike. They came here, didn't they? No. Well, what, are you hiding them from me now? No. Tyler! Owen! Wait, they're not here. Yeah, why would I believe you now? You've been lying to me for weeks. Jesus Christ, I swear to God, Patrick, they're not here. Bullshit! Where else would they go, Jess? Where? Tell me where they are. Whatever it is that's doing this to you, then you'll be better. Owen? Owen? Try to control it. You have to. you.
Since the death was ruled an accident, the DA is not pursuing any kind of criminal investigation, Jess. But your ex-husband is moving forward with the negligence claim. They're basing their case on two factors. One, you let the children play unsupervised near a known water hazard. And two, Owen's autopsy. It showed he had an unusual deficiency of calcium and vitamin C and D. They're saying you may suffer from Munchausen syndrome by proxy. That's when a parent purposely keeps a child sick I so know that, what that is. Can you tell me when I can see my daughter, please? The judge is giving your ex husband sole legal custody. But they'll review it in six months. So, Jess, if you can put yourself together, maybe seek counseling there's a fair chance they'll modify the ruling. Everything's good with you, Dad. School okay? I know this is hard for you, Dad. And it's my fault, all of it. I'm trying to find a way to live with that. At time.